I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus here and today I'm going to show you how to check and see if the Knox security layer has been tripped the E-Fuse has been tripped on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G and this will even work on the I saw there was rumor of a Galaxy Note 10 Lite that's possibly going to be released and this will work for that device as well. Now and previously I've shown people how to do this and I've instructed people to download this application called Phone Info. It's an app, a free app you can download from the Play Store and I've recommended this because it's generally easier to just download an app as there is a Knox warranty void entry right there on the general tab now whenever you look for that again in the past I've said you want to look at this and if it says 0x0 that means that the Knox counter has not been tripped and if you see 0x1 that means Knox has been tripped now you know that I have my Galaxy Note 10 bootloader unlocked and while that in and of itself will not trip Knox, I have also installed Magisk for my root method and that's what's tripping Knox. and you can see that by you know me trying to use an application that relies on Samsung on Knox, which is just not possible so instead of using the phone info app which may or may not work for you go ahead and give it a try I'm gonna show you the more reliable way and to do that we first need to power off the Galaxy Note 10 and when we power it off we're going to boot the device into download mode and I've talked about how to do this before we're just gonna press and hold the volume up and volume down buttons and then insert the USB cable the USB cable has to be plugged in to a computer and you're going to want to boot into download mode through the USB method because we need to get to the splash screen so we can press the volume up button from here and again we're doing that so we can get to this version of download mode with all of the text now if you were to use boot into download mode using the other method you're gonna see the download mode but you're not gonna see this miscellaneous text right there and that's what we're, we are really looking for so this is a bit difficult to see but I just want to show you that this is the text right there and if you look right underneath the red carrier ID text you're going to see some text there that's going to say warranty space void and then it's either going to say a one or a zero so if you see a one right there like I do right there then that means the warranty has been voided at least as far as Samsung Knox is concerned and I'm not going to get into your own country's warranty laws and stuff you should know that but this right here specifically for the Knox fuse so if you see warranty void one then that means Knox has been tripped on your Galaxy Note 10 and that means you're just not going to be able to use applications like Samsung Pay secure folder and stuff like that there could be workarounds but in the normal state you're not going to be able to use those apps or services now if you see warranty void space zero then that means your warranty has not been voided by Knox that means Knox and the Knox counter has not been tripped and that means that you should be able to use those apps and services like normal so now that we have checked on whether or not Knox has been tripped, you can see that we are instructed to hold the volume down button and the power button for more than seven seconds. 
to force the device to be restarted. And once you see that, you can then let go of those buttons and let the device reboot on its own. And as you just saw, if you have Majisk installed, from there you can also do the button presses to load up Majisk on your boot into Android. So there you have it. That is how to check the Galaxy Note 10 series to see if Knox and the Knox counter has been tripped.